Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the structure of a human eye. So, this is the diagram of the human eye. Let's start with the retina. The retina is this part over here. Well, actually this whole part along the back of the eye. The retina contains the light-sensitive receptor cells, which are known as rods and cones. Together these are known as photoreceptors. Then we have the cornea, which is this part over here. The cornea is responsible for the refraction, which is the bending of light rays from the object to create an image on the retina. It therefore allows the light rays to be bent so that they reach the retina at the back of the eye. We then have the suspensory ligament, which is this structure over here. These structures hold the lens in position, as this is the lens. We then have the pupil, which is this section over here, and it is a circular opening in the iris which allows light to enter the eye. It therefore allows light to flow through the lens and reach the retina. We then have the aqueous humor, which is a watery fluid between the pupil and the... This watery fluid supports the cornea and the front chamber of the eye, therefore aiding... We then have the iris, which is this part here that is slightly shaded. The iris is the coloured part of the eye, such as people have blue eyes, green eyes, that being the coloured part of the eye. Then we have the lens, which is this large round structure over here. The lens changes shape for near or distant vision in order to, reflect, to ref, refract the light rays more in order for the light to fall on the retina. We then have the vitreous humor, which is the liquid inside behind the lens and in front of the retina. It is a jelly-like substance which gives shape to the eye, therefore also aids in structure. Then we have the blind spot which is this spot over here. The blind spot is an area that has no rods or co cones. Therefore, there is no vision at this point, as there are no photoreceptors. We then have the optic nerve, which is this nerve over here. The optic nerve carries nerve impulses from the retina to the brain, allowing for an image to be produced. We then have the yellow spot, which is this tiny indentation over here. The yellow spot has the greatest number of cones, and this area offers the clearest image. Then we have the choroid, which is this dark shaded area behind the retina. It is a dark colored layer which reduces refraction, reflection and is rich in blood vessels, therefore supplying the cells of the eye with nutrients and oxygen. Lastly, we have the sclera, which is the last layer behind the choroid. It is a tough white outer coat which protects the eye from damage. And that's all for this video. Thank you.